I feel that hunger and that desire of the creator deep inside. I who live on the tip at the tip of the African continent, having gone to sleep many nights listening to the calm yet powerful roar of lions in East Africa, safer than the dominant discipline of my parents on my innocent child heart. The creator has planted in my soul a love for this magnificent continent with its diverse peoples, many still finely attuned to the natural elements of fire, water, air, and earth, as well as flora and fauna. In my meditations, I was thinking about Ethiopia, just north of Kenya, with its archaeological finds dating back more than three million years, with ancient Lalibela sites, with its rock-cut rock Christian churches from 12, 13 centuries ago. Kush, another word for Ethiopia, such magic. King Menelik, the son of King Solomon and Queen Sheba, ruled for a time, and stories of lions around him were, are still well known in Africa. The Emperor Haile Selassie, who used, he used to take lions with him to the airport, meeting dignitaries who came to visit his country. Can you just imagine? And then there are all the wonderful stories of the priest King John, who brought the grail to Africa. What happened? With such a rich spiritual heritage of peace, what happened to its rich culture? The capital country of our continent with 54 countries in Africa, 1.5 billion people in 2050, we estimate there will be 2.5 billion, and many of them, more than 60%, will be children. With a rapid population growth, high fertility rates, large households, and widespread poverty. Why am I saying all this to you this evening, this morning for you? Because it lives in my being. It lives in my being. And it's far too large for anyone to deal with or to do anything about. It's a threshold moment for me. I let go. And I let go some more. I certainly can imagine. But more than that, I pray for all people living in peace, sharing the world, and living as one people. I pray that we all cross this threshold together and discover a different hunger, a different will and desire moving through us as his body on earth, bringing peace and goodwill for all. If there is a hole in my soul, may it stay open fully that the Lord God, the creator can work through me and work through us.